Welcome to our demonstration of our new OTDR Fiber Visualizer software. In this demonstration, we'll be using our MT9083A2 OTDR. Once the fiber is connected, you can use the up, down, left, right arrows in order to select the Fiber Visualizer application. You can also use the F6 button to switch between single mode and multi-mode fiber. Once you've entered the application, choose the test mode between automatic parameter selection or manual. And then also select whether you'd like a single wavelength or dual wavelength test. If you chose your test mode as manual, you can manually select your distance range, resolution, pulse width, and average time. Lastly, you could input your index refraction and backscatter coefficient here. Before beginning the test, make sure that your preferences and thresholds are set correctly. There are two preferences that are specific to the Fiber Visualizer software, find in your preferences 2-2. you can adjust your auto-detect and pass-fail thresholds in this screen. Highlight the threshold you'd like to change, press enter, and put the new value, and then enter once again. Once you've completed, you could just hit the exit button. We are now ready to run the test, which can be initiated by pressing the green start button. Once the test is completed, the results are displayed on this screen. The bottom left has our total loss and total ORL values, while the icons in the middle display our individual event analysis. Here is our loss value, and here is our loss and reflectance value. A highlighted red value means it is failing our pass-fail threshold. Since the majority of fiber problems arise from the dirty or damaged connectors, we are now going to walk through our video inspection probe test. Connect the VIP into the USB port and enter into the VIP application. Insert the connector into the video inspection probe. And then use the focus knob to get a focused connector on the screen. Before initializing the test, make sure that your probe model and probe tip are selected correctly in the test settings. Use the green start button to initialize the automatic analysis capture. It will determine whether the connector is passing or failing, and then you could bring up the analysis report to see exactly what areas are failing. Now we will step through properly cleaning a connector. You can either use a dry wipe, shown here, or use a wet cleaning solution. For the dirtiest connectors, we recommend first using the wet cleaning solution followed by the dry wipe. If the dirty connector is contained within a patch panel, you can use a bulkhead cleaner in order to clean. Mm -hmm. 
Once the connector has been cleaned, rerun the VIP analysis in order to determine whether it is now passing. In order to create a report, press the F5 button, input your report information, and then create the PDF. You can then determine the file name and the file save location here. We can now re-execute the Fiber Visualizer test in order to determine if we now have a passing result. One of the many features of our Fiverr Visualizer software is that you could toggle between the Visualizer application and a traditional trace view. The traditional trace view allows all of the features of our standard OTDR, including zooming in, zooming out, and cursor placement. To create a PDF report, press the F4 button Input your report information, and press F5 to create the PDF. You can then choose your file name and file save location here. Press exit, and you're now ready to test your next fiber.